Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today we are in Wisconsin and Illinois. We're doing 13 home theater tours in just four days. Well, today, as you can see, I'm not in my home theater, but I'm in my friend Scott's home theater. This place is incredible. Scott's gonna give us a complete tour of his entire system, and it's gonna be amazing. So Scott, why don't you give us a tour of your incredible home theater? Will do. Hi everyone, welcome to my theater. My name is Scott, and this is my poster, digital movie poster. We'll be featuring upcoming releases and movies that will be featured in the theater in the future. And with that, let's take a look at Gravely. He's here ready to serve up popcorn and drinks for us whenever we want. We won't be eating tonight, so let's just head down to the theater. Oh, wait, the theater is not in the basement. All right, Michael, I need you to stop filming this part. It's secret. And welcome to the inner sanctum of my home theater. What we have here is a room dimension of 26 and an inch long and 17 and four inches wide. The screen itself is 130 inches. It's an elite screen that I got off of Amazon many years ago, and I came up with a feature that I haven't seen on too many theaters before. We've got adjustable screens. This one actually drops down from the bottom, or from the top, going down to the bottom. Infinitely configurable, so you can go from 16 by 9 to 2.35 to 1 in just a matter of seconds. All right, for speakers, we have JBL Studio 590s for the L, C, and R channels. Also for the wides. And on the sides, we've got JBL Studio 580s. And the rear surrounds are also JBL 590s. Top Atmos speakers are handled by the JBL SC8s. Subwoofers, I've got four. They're JTR 1400s. They're no longer made, but they are fantastic speakers. There are two in the front and two in the rear. Both of them placed a quarter, a quarter of the way into the room. Let's talk equipment. For projector, it's the JVC RS420. For playback, I've got a Sonos that handles all my FLAC files. I've got a Shield to handle all the internet type stuff. I've got a Panasonic 4K Blu-ray player, a Toshiba HD DVD player. Oh, I miss those days. Monoprice HTP1 sends signals to everything else in the system. And down at the bottom, I've got an APC battery backup. Powering this system, I have two monolith amplifiers. The 9X has got three channels powered at 200 watts each and the remaining channels at 100. The 7X powers the left, center, and right. All channels put out 200 watts per channel. On top of that, I've got an AC Infinity cooling system. Here's a couple things that make this uh, theater unique. I made my own diffuser panels. These are panels that are available through Amazon and they're on foam backer board, along with a wooden infrastructure in the back. This is a base trap I've constructed. It's eight feet, three inches tall, 15 inches deep, and 32 inches wide. It's stuffed with fluffy insulation to provide the best, or best sound absorption for the base frequencies. And here's the diffuser panel. You can get a closer look this way. These are constructed with those panels from Amazon. And on the back, I just built a primitive woodworking type uh, framework for it. Don't mistake me, I don't do this for a living. I just threw this stuff together. There's some foam on the back. That helps uh, pad the wall so that it doesn't get scratched up. Made it a little picture hanger here. The inside's held together with tape. And then again, construction adhesive was used along the sides to hold the wood in place. They're reinforced with little blocks on the side just to give it a little extra strength. But they're super light. They only weigh about seven pounds each. For sound absorption, I've got four commercially purchased uh, sound panels from GIK Acoustics. My wife Nikki has been a huge help through this process. In addition to letting me buy all this stuff and enjoying movies with me, she's also helped by constructing little velvet hoods for the speakers. Uh, you may think it's silly, it actually helps reduce reflections from the top of the speakers and the subs 
against the screen, improving contrast and darkness in the dark scenes. In addition to those fantastic hoods, she's also painted the entire room during the construction process. There are four coats of paint on here, not including the gray primer that was applied. The, the walls themselves are zombie gray, and the ceiling is flat black. We have seating for seven people. These were purchased at Costco about four years ago. They were a popular model amongst the AVS forum group, and it required us making seven trips to Costco to fit them into our little car, but it was well worth it. We went with a black carpet, volcanic it was called. One of, the one of the hazards is that the steps blend in with the carpet, and in a fully darkened room this can be quite a hazard. To take care of that, I installed some light sensitive switches on the side of the riser that are activated as you approach. I did all of the in-wall low voltage wiring myself, and with the leftover cable, speaker cable, I constructed my own speaker cables using some sheathing that you can buy off of Amazon and some heat shrink tubing along with some banana plugs from Monoprice. I hadn't planned on doing wide speakers, so when I did I had the problem of running speaker wire to them. The installation was already done so it was too late to add them, so my idea was to buy some Velcro in a roll, two inches wide, easily attaches firmly to the carpet, and hides the speaker wire for the most part unless you have bright lights shining directly on it. Our uh, home theater experience started a few years ago when we decided to build our own house. Nikki and I looked at various construction techniques and were intrigued by ICF. This is an example of an ICF construction form from TF Forming Systems. That's who we purchased ours from. The system consists of an outside layer of styrofoam, an inside layer of styrofoam, and these braces that act as 2x4s. Well, not really 2x4s, but you've got a stud every 8 inches. When this is fully constructed on site, trucks come in with concrete and pour concrete in between the forms. So the essence, in essence, we're living in a solid concrete house. And that wraps up the home theater tour. Big thank you to Youth Man for coming all the way up here to Wisconsin. And another huge thanks to Tony, who started our whole forum and the whole idea behind us getting together and hosting great get-togethers throughout the year. Hope to see you all soon.